Hello and welcome to Chinny Vision. This time we're meeting the evil masked warrior. Well, you've heard of Ocean, Domark, and US Gold. Today we're playing a game by Blaby Computer Games, a, a short lived software house. Uh, apparently programmed a few games for the Dragon and about oh, eight or nine games for the CPC, only one of which I'd actually heard of before called The Bells. We get this uh, slightly distressing artwork on the cover of the game. Looks like a rip-off of some movie artwork, possibly a Bruce Lee movie. But anyway, the instructions for the game, the evil masked warrior rules the kingdom of Yabu, and it's your task to overthrow him, as you are the rightful ruler. Okay. To complete your task, you must battle through three stages before finally facing the masked warrior himself. The stages. Stage 1 is 30 dungeons, that's 30 rooms, the Temple of Yabu is a further 30 rooms, and then the Courtyard, 10 rooms. And the controls look rather complicated, there's no joystick, you use the numeric keypad, and you've got a number of controls there, and uh, apparently death kicks kill almost every attacker, but you only get three per stage, and you get three lives. And you must jump up to catch a jewel to proceed from the stage. So let's load this up and see what it's like. I was told to play this game by Stuart Ashen, who said I might enjoy it. So, uh, here we go, and we've got to please wait. Looks like an Amsoft. Please wait. They hacked the Amsoft loader? I don't know. Please wait. Even though we're loading from disk. Blaby Computer Games presents Death Kick by DJ Shaw. And we've got a lot of flashing going on on the board of that. I'm not going to select any infinite lives or anything. We're going to load the game up and see what happens. Mode 2. High, res ooh, high resolution on the CPC of the Mask Warrior versus Death Kick. That's any key... To begin, that's the CPC's 80 column mode, only two colours available. The sound effects are slightly distressing. Oh, and we're into mode naught now. Is this corrupted? And I'm moving along, I'm using the keys as per the instructions. No baddies here yet. Any bandages on this screen? There's got to be something wrong here. Why is there a copyright symbol, an at symbol, sitting in the middle of the screen? Do I have to kick that? Apparently, yes. Um, This isn't very responsive at all. Oh, we've got someone running at me, coming. Oh, I've oh, got it. Apparently, I've killed him. That's good. This is a bit like Ya Kung Fu 2, except um, possibly written in Brace Basic. This man's coming for me with a knife, everything's slowed down horrifically, and I'm dead. Even though I was mashing the keyboard to try and hit him. Let's try again. Right, so let's try and move forward, use some of these special moves I've got. Try and kick him. Kick him, kick him, kick him, kick him. Kick him. Oh! What's all that flashing going on in the background? This is corrupted, surely. There's something wrong here. This hasn't loaded in properly. I mean, this is basic, isn't it? But um, even so... And now I'm dead again. Game over. You scored a total of 800. Press enter when ready. Well, my conclusion so far is that this game is coded entirely in basic. It's incredibly slow, unresponsive, and slows down the more that is happening on the screen. No excuse for that, really, because actually in CPC basic, you can do data statements and call in machine code bits. We've seen some pretty polished basic games on Chinny Vision over the years, and this isn't one of them. In fact, this is commercially released. I've seen better typing games than this, so we're trying another go. Kick the copyright symbol. And by the way, I've loaded this in again, and um, apparently this is... Uh, oh! No, you went straight through me and I'm dead. There's no corruption here at all. This is what the game looks like. Kick him, kick him, kick him, kick him! Oh, yes! I probably shouldn't get so excited about that, really. And, uh, right, okay, we're going to try and death kick him, which is five on the keypad. Come on, death kick, five, 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 some, do something, do them dead. It doesn't respond, you mash the keyboard. It does not respond. That's a death kick. And I've enabled infinite death kicks as well, so I can get into this game properly. So, oh no! I'm pressing the button and nothing is happening at all. 
I'm running level one death kick per screen right, let's time this right. I've got infinite lives. Let's get this right. Yay, death kick. No, he's not dead. No, he is. What the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did he come from? Did the other guy die? Or this randomly person from the previous screen came at me. Right, we've got some kind of copyright symbols on the screen again. Let's kick them. No, right, okay. That was some kind of barrier. Oh, dear God. This game... The CPC has a rather good UDG set that you could use um, to make graphics from, and they've just used things like the at slash copyright symbol, and just, it looks dreadful. Why, why, why? Some kind of dragon came at me then. The score's in the mess that's the background there. And we've got all this mess down the bottom. Why is this in mode 0? It could be in mode 1 and get a bit more detail in it. It wouldn't make any difference. What am I saying? What am I saying? This wouldn't make a blind bit of difference to the game. Right, here comes the knifey man again. So it's a death kick, I assume, because he's going to kill you otherwise. There we go, death kick. And if you kill him, someone else comes to you straight away. It's insane. Oh dear, blamey computer games, you shoddy individuals. Oh, he's throwing an asterisk at me. But the asterisk hit me, but it didn't matter. This is like a five-year-old has coded Ya Kung Fu 2 in basic. Although Ya Kung Fu 2 wasn't out 1984? Don't think it was. Bell. Right, there is a bell key, so I've done that, so I've belled. Apparently I get some kind of bonus for that. Don't know what. Don't care. Just look at that background. This is this is trying to analyse what's going on there. What is going on there? And it draws it every time you enter a new screen. So it slows down the game even more. And the score is in the background. Why is it not in the status bar at the bottom? 3,019 points I've amassed in this steaming pile of rubbish. There's a man coming at me doing a kung fu kick. I've kicked him. Have I died? Have I not? I don't know. I have. I've survived. We survived on another screen. Got 30 of these screens in level one. And they seem to repeat. There seems to be five different variations. Look, there's nothing at all in this screen here. Oh, dear me. And here comes the asterisk man again, because we're going around in a loop. Because the program is a moron and hasn't put enough stuff into the game. I'm dead. No, oh, you can't respond. There's no... You can press the keys, the game may respond, it may not. Come on, jump, 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 jump! Yes, I've jumped! No, he hit me. He come down, he hit you anyway. Now I'm going to come and come along and just kick him one. Kick him, kick him, do something. Yay, I kicked him. Bell, bell. Oh! It's not that I didn't press the bell key, which is enter. Just, there we go. There's no joystick controls. The, the only controls in this game are the numeric keypad. And, and that's it. Oh. Dear me. Right, onwards we go. Onwards. Another blank screen. Nothing's going to happen on this screen. Something's going to happen. Something's going to drop out the top. No. Programmer couldn't be bothered. It's going to loop. Oh, no, no. Another blank screen again. Oh, no, no. Some copyright singles are coming at me. And there's the dragon again. And I kick him and he dies. And on I go. Oh, how much did this game cost? Dragon again? This is one of the shoddiest commercial games I've ever seen. Oh, just... Oh, oh. Got enter, 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 pressing enter, pressing enter, pressing enter, bow. Funny sound effect cue any second. Dear me, if this was sent to Amstrad computer users as a typing, they would have gone, yeah... No thanks. Go away and do it properly. Another screen, another challenge, and here comes a knifey man again. Which means we've got to do a death kick and I'm ready to press number five at the precise second. The game, there we go. The precise second the game needs me to do it, but it didn't. Oh, he, but, oh. I 
and onwards we go. Here comes a man with a kick again. I'm just death kicking him now. And you only get, you only get three death kicks. So you probably can't complete the first section levels anyway. Here comes a man with a giant goodness knows what. What is he holding? I'm assuming that's his hand. Let's be generous and say that's his hand because it looks like something else. Here we go. I'm right, going to kick him. He's a new baddie though. I'm dead. Right. Oh, and he's advancing on me again. He's advancing on me again. And I can't death kick him. Death kick him. No, dead again. Come on, come on. We're going to get past this new baddie because it's very... Oh, it's crashed! The game has crashed into basic. Goodness me. And yes, if we look at this, you do a listing. It is completely 100% locomotive basic. Very badly, very poorly coded from my limited memories of locomotive basic could be done so much better you think of games that we know were coded in locomotive basic such as a sultan's maze which is slow but it looks fairly polished it's got some atmosphere uh those brilliant typings such as crazy legs that we played in splatch that i showed years ago with the rabbits the boulder dash clone and that superb space invaders game i showed in my 30 years of the cpc 6128 video Coded in basic, but calling in kind of machine code routines and lots and lots of data statements look as good as a commercial game. This is a commercial game that looks worse than 90% of typing games. It's absolutely awful. The one small blessing here is the creators of Death Kick didn't decide to inflict it on any other format. It is only available on the CPC. The thing about Death Kick is that artwork should be warning enough There's, this is a warning this is a terrible terrible game because the computer game company can't even be bothered to any effort into the cover nobody's play tested this game it crashes i mean baby computer games did you just go oh it's a game doesn't matter put it out yeah did you know nothing about computer games you, you never been to an arcade i mean did you expect nobody to get further than screen when did it crash 15? Oh, this is absolutely dreadful. I'm trying to work out if this is a worse crime than Rick the Roadie. Well, Rick the Roadie, at least it's got things wrong with it, horrifically wrong with it, but it never crashes out. It's, it's at least been kind of vaguely playtested. No, nobody could be bothered, and in many ways, because it's a later era game, um, there are, that makes it even worse in many regards because expectations were higher. In 1984, expectations were lower. But for goodness me, you should be able to at least get into the game without it crashing. You might have at least optimised some machine code into there to make the game faster. 1984, you can do stuff in BASIC. No one's criticising you for using BASIC for your game. The problem is you have used BASIC in an incredibly shoddy, lazy and appalling way. The CPC's got a good BASIC. It's got a fast BASIC. It's got a basic that you can call in machine code routines via data statements and do amazing things. You've not done amazing things. You have created the creators of Death Kick, crimes against computer games. And for that, yes, you have made one of the worst commercially released games of all time.